just your first impression. What do you imagine there to be down there? What sense are you getting? A village. A village. Mm -hmm. Tell me about this village. What does it look like? Look around you. This is an old village. Yes. Mm hmm. It's dark. It's dark. Is it daytime or nighttime? Evening. It's evening. Mm hmm. And where are you there? Are you in the village or are you outside the village? In the village. Mm hmm. So acclimate yourself to this place. Allow yourself to just float in even deeper than you are. Look around you. What do you sense is there? People. People. Mm hmm. How are these people dressed? With long coats. Long coats. Mm hmm. What else? And hats. Mm hmm. What do the hats look like? Big hats. Big hats. Mm hmm. Sunday hats. I like Sunday hats. Okay. What else do you see there? A woman walking. A woman is walking. Mm hmm. What's interesting about this woman? She's a mother. She's a mother. Mm hmm. Like attending to the daughter. Mm hmm. Attending to the daughter. Walking through the village. Walking through the village. How is this woman dressed? Like long. Long clothing. Mm hmm. Long clothing. Dark. Mm hmm. Dark. Do you feel that this place is a cold place? Mm. No. No. Not cold. Not cold. So I'd like for you to focus now on yourself. Look down at the ground. Can you see your feet? Mm hmm. What do you see? Black shoes. Black shoes. Walking on cobblestone. Mm hmm. On cobblestone. Do you feel that these are male or female shoes? Female. Female. Mm hmm. How do you perceive yourself to be dressed? Um, wearing a long dress. Mm hmm What else? I'm wearing a hat. Mm-hmm. And walking through the village with my daughter's hand, mm -hmm. holding my daughter's hand. Very good. How old is your daughter there? Maybe four. Mm -hmm. So where are you going? 
trying to get home. Mm-hmm. What's happening there? It's evening, so we're walking, trying to get home mm -hmm. quickly. Before it gets dark? Yes. Mm -hmm. Where were you? Where did you go? Well, I don't know where we came from. Mm -hmm. So let's, let's fast forward and see where it is that you live. I want you to move forward to see where it is. What does it look like? It's a small house in a, not by itself. Mm -hmm. Like houses bunched up together, no room between them. No room between them? Mm -hmm. There's a... The light is caused by a fire. Where is this fire? Like a stove. Mm hmm Inside or outside the house? Inside. Okay. Mm hmm What does your house look like inside? S stone. And it's dark. Mm hmm Who lives in that house with you? Me and my daughter. Mm hmm Do you have a husband? I think so. Mm hmm Not home. It's not home. Okay. So let's move to a significant time when your family is together. I want you to move to that time. See what it is that you're doing together. They're having dinner. But we're fighting. You're fighting. Mm-hmm. What's happening? Arguing. Having an argument. Mm-hmm. Let's find out what that argument is all about. I want you to focus in on it. What's the argument about? I'm not listening. I'm not following what he wants. Mm -hmm. What does he want? He wants me to just do what he tells me. Mm -hmm. But I don't want to. What would you prefer to do? I want to be free. Mm -hmm. Free to do what I want. Think for myself.
What does your husband do for a living? Um, like a blacksmith. A blacksmith. Uh -huh. So when you're not home, where do you go? Out. Mm -hmm. Just... Walking around to learn and experience things. Mm -hmm. And you take your daughter with you? Yes. How does he feel about you taking your daughter on these adventures? I don't think he's happy. Mm -hmm. He just wants us to stay home. So let's close that scene now, and let's move to another scene in that same lifetime when something important is happening. Move forward. Where are you? I'm wanting to... leave. Mm-hmm. Escape. Escape. Where would you go? Just away, away from there. Away from feeling caged. Mm-hmm. So tell me what happens next. Trying to trying to run. Trying to catch a carriage. Trying to catch a carriage. Are you by yourself or is your daughter with you? I'm alone. Mm-hmm. What happened to your daughter? I don't know. He wouldn't let me take her. Mm -hmm. But I can't stay. So what happens? Leave. I escape. I escape. Mm -hmm. Where do you go to? I want you to fast forward and see where it is that this carriage takes you. Where do you go? To another town. Mm-hmm. That's, that's brighter. Mm-hmm. The town is brighter? Yeah, it's not so dark. Mm-hmm. Where do you go? I just go there to feel more free. So this town where you are, how do you make a living now? What happens to you? I work at a saloon. Mm -hmm. What do you do at the saloon? I 
serve mm -hmm. serve people like a waitress like a waitress mm -hmm. do you like what you do yes i think so mm -hmm. do you feel free yes mm -hmm. very good so let's close that scene and now let's move to another time in that lifetime move ahead you're older now what's happening now where are you Sitting in a rocking chair. Sitting in a rocking chair. In a house. Mm hmm. Whose house is this? Mine. Mm hmm. How old do you feel there? Like 80. Mm hmm. What's happening here? Just alone. How do you feel about your life? It's a long life. Mm -hmm. Worked hard. I'm tired. Mm -hmm. Let's move now to the last moment of your life in that lifetime. Move forward and tell me where you are. Look around you. Where are you? And dead. Mm -hmm. Is anybody with you? No. Mm -hmm. So as you're taking your last breath there, what are you thinking about? I lived a good life. Mm -hmm. Do you have any regrets? Leaving my daughter. Mm -hmm. Has that weighed in on you? Yes. Mm -hmm. Would you like to release that before you go? Yes. All right. So allow me to assist you with that. I'm going to put my hand on your chest. And I want you to give me all of that burden that you feel for having abandoned your daughter, all of that guilt for not being there for her, knowing that you followed your heart, but you left a hole in somebody else's heart. Give that all to me and tell me when you've got, I've got it all. Give me all of that pain, the sacrifice that you did for your freedom, how it hurt others. Give that all to me. As you give that to me, go deep inside of you and forgive yourself. Feel it yourself. Knowing that all, all of us make mistakes and sometimes you have to follow your heart. May I take that away now? Yes. I'm going to take that from you. 
And now, before you go, what would you like to leave with? What would you like to put in that space? No. Let's put lots of love in there. Let's put lots of love in there. And I'm going to touch your forehead so we can seal that in there. What else would you like to put in there? Peace. Let's put lots of peace in there. And seal that too. Anything else that would make you feel complete? Joy. Lots of joy. Mm -hmm. Let's put that in there. What else? You feel good now? Forgiveness. Let's put lots of forgiveness in there. How would you like to forgive? Myself. Mm -hmm. Forgive yourself. Feel it going in there. Forgive yourself. Forgive yourself. Feel it coming in. Allow it to fill your entire essence. Feel that forgiveness, that love. Releasing it. And as I take my hand, let's release all of that that you feel. How does it feel now? Lighter. Lighter. So now that you feel lighter, go ahead and take that last breath of yours. And allow yourself to just transition from that body a lot lighter. Much, much lighter. And as you leave that body, I want you to look back at your life and tell me, what was your purpose in that lifetime? What were you supposed to come in for? To learn strength mm -hmm. courage. To learn strength and courage. Do you feel that you learned that? Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. What lessons did you learn from that life? That it's okay to be alone. Mm -hmm. It's okay to be alone. It's okay to follow your heart. Mm -hmm. Very good. So tell me where you go now. What happens to your spirit as you leave this body of this woman? What happens next? Just floating. Mm hmm Where do you float to? With my guides. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that. We're talking about what I'm going to do next. Mm -hmm. And what is your that you're going to do. Going to come into another family. Mm hmm Are you able to choose that family? Yes. Mm hmm What do you need to learn from them? Learn to be independent. Mm -hmm. To learn to have a voice. Mm -hmm. 
How do you choose your parents? I had to choose a family that was not going to give me a voice. Mm -hmm. And where is this family? That's my family now. Mm -hmm. And it's the life that I've lived. Mm -hmm. So I'd like you to leave your guides now and tell me what happens afterwards. What's the next step before you come into this life? Where do you go? I'm in my mother's womb. Mm -hmm. I'm in my mother's womb. And what happens there? Can you hear what's going on? I'm not wanted. I'm not wanted. Tell me more. My mother doesn't really want to have a child. How does that make you feel? Sad. Mm hmm Sad. Do you know that you chose this circumstance? Do you remember it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I agreed to it. Mm hmm Do you have a contract with your mother? Yes. Mm hmm What is the contract? For her to learn unconditional love. Mm hmm Do you have any contracts with any of the other people in your life? That you'll be coming into. Yes. Mm hmm My sister. Mm hmm Which one? My Ate. Mm hmm What's the contract with her? I need to learn abandonment. Mm-hmm. Do you know that she's going to abandon you? I didn't know how. Mm-hmm. And what else? I need to learn to love myself. Mm hmm Is that your purpose? Or is that a lesson that you need to learn? A spiritual lesson? It's a lesson. Okay. Mm hmm What else do you have to learn? I have to learn to not impose my will on others. Mm hmm. Do you think you'll succeed on that? It seems that in your last life, that was an issue there. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm learning. 
Mm-hmm. Is there anybody from that lifetime that you're, you made a contract to come back into this one? To balance that energy, that karma with them? My daughter. Mm-hmm. Who is your daughter in this lifetime? My sister. Mm-hmm. You abandoned her? Yes. Mm-hmm. She abandoned me. Mm-hmm. So you'll be balancing that out? That karma? Yes. Mm-hmm. Can you accept that? Yes. Mm-hmm. Is there anyone else from that lifetime that you'll be balancing the karma with? My husband. Mm-hmm. Who is he in this lifetime? Manny. Mm-hmm. Very good. I want you to leave that scene now. Leave that scene. And now let's go to another scene in another lifetime and you'll get more answers to what you'll be doing here. Allow yourself to drift and float. And tell me what you experience. Where are you? I'm in a house. Mm hmm. I'm in a house. Full of other women. Mm hmm. What kind of house is this with women? It's like a shelter. A shelter. Mm hmm. What's and happening? We're just all helping each other. Taking care of each other's kids. Where are the men? They're single mothers. Single mothers. Mm -hmm. Are you a single mother too? I think so. Mm -hmm. Allow yourself to acclimate into that life. Feel yourself fitting into that body. Allow all of the memories to fit into yours. And as you acclimate to that life, you'll be able to get the answers as to what you're doing there and how you got to be there. So tell me what the story is of your life. How did you get there? I was in an abused marriage. Mm -hmm. I 
and I couldn't stay. So I left. I went to a shelter with my daughter. Mm -hmm. And the women, we help each other. We take care of each other. Um, I do the laundry. Mm -hmm. As you look around you, what year does it feel? What is there? Like... 1930s or 40s. Mm -hmm. What do they call you there? My name? Mm -hmm. You can kind of listen and see if anybody calls your name. Megan. Maiden? Megan. 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 Mm-hmm. So, Megan, how old is your daughter? She's like six. Like six. Mm-hmm. I want you to take a look at your daughter. Look inside of her eyes, and the eyes are the window to the soul. As you look into your daughter's eyes, I want you to see if there's anybody, anybody at all in the life of Lynn, who this daughter is. Who is she? How to say? So let's find out what happens now in this lifetime. I want you to close that scene and let's move into another scene in that lifetime. Something important is happening. Move forward and find that time. Look around you. Where are you? Are you inside or outside? Inside. Mm hmm. Where is this place? It's a cold place. Mm hmm. A cold place. Tell me more. Mm. I'm afraid for her. Afraid for her. What's happening? What is this place? It's like a castle. Like a castle. Mm hmm. What are you doing there? I went to look for her. You went to look for your daughter? Yes. Was she missing? Somebody took her. Somebody took her. How did you find her there? I was asking around for people to 
helped me find her. Mm-hmm. And they told me where she was. Mm-hmm. What is this place? It's like a dungeon where... They keep young girls. Mm-hmm. Tell me more about this place. Are you inside now? I'm inside. I'm trying to protect her. Mm-hmm. Are there other girls there? Not with us right now. Mm-hmm. So tell me what happens next. Trying to take her out before before they abuse her. Mm -hmm. Before they sell her. Sell her off. And she's scared. How old is she? She's young. Maybe twelve. Take away her pain. So tell me what happens. What happened to you? They take her from me. Who were they? The people who were selling her. Mm -hmm. Tell me what's happening. Sell her. They sell her off. And I can't do anything. I can't protect her. Who do they sell her to? They sell her to a man. has a beard. He's big and scary. Mm-hmm. I can't do anything. Megan, do you know what country you're in? Ireland. Mm-hmm. So I want you to close that scene, Megan, and let's move forward. You're older now. Something significant is happening. Where are you? In a home. Mm-hmm. With a husband. Tell me more. 
I'm just there to serve him. Mm -hmm. To feed him and cook for him. Mm -hmm. Now in your last marriage, it was an abusive marriage. How was this one? He's okay. Mm -hmm. Do you have any more children? No. I want you to go deep inside of you. How are you feeling? I don't want to have any more kids. Mm-hmm. Because I can't protect them. Okay. All right, leave that scene now. Let's go to the last day of your life, in that lifetime. Move forward. Tell me where you are. Old. Mm hmm. Where are you? Lying in bed. Mm -hmm. What do you have? Pneumonia. Mm -hmm. What's going through your head as you're lying there at the end of your life? I regret not being able to save my daughter. Mm -hmm. I feel guilty. Would you like me to help you with that today? With that guilt? Yes. So you can leave that behind. I'm going to put my hand on your chest now, Megan. And I want you to feel all of that feelings of guilt, of pain, of losing your daughter. I want you to just feel it coming out through your chest, knowing that you always get another chance, that you'll be able to once again meet your daughter, see your daughter again, and next time you'll be able to protect her. Feel that leaving your body your soul. Unload all of that guilt to me. Release it and forgive yourself. There was nothing that you can do. This was just the circumstances. That was her journey and yours. You were both there to learn. Allow me to take that from you. And tell me when I have it all. Let me take that from you. Now, Megan, in order for you to die with that beautiful feeling of release, what would you like to put in that space? Love. Let's put lots of love in there. Feel that love going in. Filling your essence. Feel all of that love. And I'm going to touch your forehead and just seal that in there. What else would make you feel complete? Forgiveness. Mm -hmm. Lots of forgiveness. Let's put that in there. Feel it coming in. All of that forgiveness. Very good. And then I'll take it away. What else? How do you feel now? Good. Very good. So, Megan, go ahead and take your last breath. Allow yourself to leave that body behind. And as you float away, let me know what happens. Where do you go?
And to your family. Very good. As you can see that there's a circle coming through. So what happens next? What do you see? Hey. My daughter up in that lifetime is my sister, my younger sister now. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That's why I've always wanted to take care of her and protect her. Mm hmm. And do you feel that that was your purpose in that lifetime to protect her? Yes. Mm hmm. What did you learn from that lifetime? That I really can't do that. Mm hmm. I really have no control. So, as you look at that lifetime and now see the woman who is Lynn, how are you affecting her in this lifetime? How have you been affecting her? I've been using my guilt from before. Mm -hmm. To make her feel obligated. To everyone mm -hmm. in our family. She doesn't need to feel that, does she? No. Mm -hmm. That was just guilt that had been carried around from that lifetime. And today we remove that guilt yes. mm -hmm, from you. So we don't need to carry that guilt anymore. Do you feel that that guilt? has been affecting her health. There may be some tension in her shoulders or her knees. Yes. Mm -hmm. So much pressure. Mm -hmm. She doesn't need that anymore, does she? No. That's gone now. Very good. Thank you very much for all the help you've given me today. May the light of the universe always accompany you. And as you go, I'd like to connect now with the higher self. Do I have permission to speak with the higher self? Yes. Thank you very much. I know that the higher self could have shown Lynn many different lifetimes today. Why did you show her that first one where she ran away? to follow her heart. Mm -hmm. Is she doing that now? She's getting there. Mm -hmm. Very good. And why did you show her the second lifetime, which seemed to have been very painful for her? Show her that we can only control ourselves mm -hmm. and we're not responsible for anything else or anyone else. Mm -hmm. Has she been struggling with that? Yes. Mm -hmm. So now that we have her in this beautiful relaxed state, what would you like to tell her about that? about those struggles that she's been having. She's finally doing the right things now. Mm-hmm. It took her a while, though. Yes. Mm-hmm. 
Is there anyone guiding her to help her find this? Oh, yes. Who's guiding her? Michael. Michael. Archangel Michael? Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And I know that she connected with her spirit guides after her life. Who are her spirit guides? Jesus. Jesus, okay. Very good. Is her grandmother and sister helping her? Yes. Mm -hmm. Would any of them would like to connect with her today? And tell her something? Yes. Which one? Sister. Mm -hmm. So we, can we connect with Cora today? Yes. Mm -hmm. So I'd like to ask now Cora to come through. Good evening, Cora. Hello. Hi. How have you been helping your sister? Watching over her. Mm -hmm. Protecting her. Mm -hmm. Keeping her safe. Keeping her safe. Cora, what really happened to you? I was not happy. Mm -hmm. I was deeply sad. Did you take your own life? No. Mm -hmm. How did you die? You took something? Some pills? Yeah. Mm hmm. How did they find you in the lake? Did you go into the lake? Mm-hmm. Cora, after you drowned in the lake, did you go to the light? Yes. Mm-hmm. So you've been helping your sister from there? Yes. Okay. What was your purpose in life? What were you supposed to learn? My happiness did not depend on others. Okay. Did you learn that? Not in that life. Not in that life. Do you plan to come back and learn that lesson again? Or have you learned it? Right now, I'm just helping men. Okay, very good. Very good. Do you have anything to tell her? She's 
She's never done anything wrong. She's on the right path. Mm-hmm. And I'm sorry for leaving her. But I had to. Mm-hmm. To teach her. To teach her? What are you teaching her? She can never be abandoned. Mm-hmm. Lynn, do you have anything to say to your sister? Yes. Mm hmm Dad, I loved her. I'm sorry I couldn't be there for her. But I wasn't old enough to understand her, her pain. Cora, would you like to say back to her about that? It's okay. wasn't expecting you to be there for me. You were too young. And I love you. And I will always love you. And I'm always here for you. Very good. Lynn, do you want to say anything to her before she goes? Thank you. Thank you for always being there for me. For taking care of us when we were kids. And being the best big sister. I know you love me. And I'm sorry I judged you. And expected so much from you. Very good. Thank you very much, Cora, for being here today. I'd like to speak now with the higher self again. Lynn wanted to know what her spiritual curriculum was. What is it she's not getting? You're still worried about what people think. Mm hmm. Be yourself. It's good advice for everybody, isn't it? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is that what is it keeping her from having a deeper connection to spirit? Yes. Mm -hmm. So how does she release all of that? Fear of getting hurt. Okay. She seems to have been putting up a lot of barriers around her heart. Yes. Can you help knock down those barriers? Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. 
So Lynn, I'd like for you to go inside your mind, allow yourself to go deep inside your heart, and see what it is that you have around your heart. What have you built around it to keep you protected? Acting like I don't care. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Because I said I don't want to care anymore. So, what is that doing to your heart? Look at your heart and see what you've built around it. It's closed and not letting anybody in. Mm hmm. Are you ready to open up that heart? Yes. All right. You have the key. Why did you see yourself unlocking that heart? And tell me what you imagine it to be like. How do you see your heart? Free. Very good. Very good. So I'd like the archangels right now to help Lynn with that. In particular, I'd like to ask Archangel Raphael to come and heal her heart. Use that beautiful ray of light of yours. Beam it down into your, her heart and heal it. And tell me from inside what it looks like to be healed by this archangel. Feels good. Mm -hmm. Feel the warmth of that beautiful energy from the archangels. Allow it to sink into every cell of your heart, enabling it to connect with others without fear of being hurt, being able to exchange energy from your heart to theirs. Feel that energy flowing into the universe, and as it flows out, feel it coming back with the energy of others others who love you too. Keep that communication open and clear, knowing that nothing can hurt you. And now that we've unblocked her heart, will this allow her to know who she truly is? Yes. Mm -hmm. Would you tell her who she is? Everything. Mm -hmm. Can she feel that now? Yes. Mm -hmm. Was this keeping her from being the loving person that she really is? Yes. Mm -hmm. Was this blocking her ability to feel more compassionate and empathetic towards others? Yes. Very good. So, while we have this session and while she sleeps, if you can continue working on her heart, so that would help her in her relationships and help her with her own relationship with herself. Now, Lynn asked if there were any vows or covenants or promises that she made that she needs to release today? Yes. Mm -hmm. Tell her about those. She's not the Moses of her family. Mm -hmm. Why did she take that role on? Because she thought she had to. Mm -hmm. 
make up for the death of her sister. Okay. So what contracts can we break today? It's not her responsibility. Mm -hmm. Feeling responsible, having to take care of everybody. Mm -hmm. So Lynn, I'd like for you to imagine in front of you a big scroll with the, all of the responsibilities of being the Moses of your family that you've written out, what you thought you needed to do here. And as you look at that scroll, you see that it's expired now. It doesn't need to be executed anymore. I want you to just find a place where you can either tear it up or burn it, and let's get rid of that contract. What would you prefer? Burning it. All right. So find a nice place to burn it and tell me what, what when it's done. It's burned. Beautiful. So now you know that you can't protect anybody. They are all on their own. And that you could only be there to love them. Can you accept that? Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. So as your higher self, what is the purpose of Lynn's life this time? What's she supposed to be doing now? To help people. Mm hmm is she on the right path? Yes. Mm -hmm. What about on her spiritual path? Is she on that? Yes. Mm -hmm. She says she has a few remnants of the guilt from the religion she grew up in. Yes. Mm -hmm. Does she need to hold on to that anymore? No. Mm -hmm. So what would you suggest? She can let him all go. Mm -hmm. Very good. And how can she move now in a more purposeful direction? Find joy again. Mm -hmm. Do things for herself. Okay. Make herself happy. Yes. Okay. Good. She said to me that she had some very serious accidents. That she... Um, they were strange accidents. They caused concussions and danger to herself. But she seems to have been protected. Who was protecting her? Her sister. Her sister. Mm -hmm. Was she there when she had the bicycle accident? Yes. Mm -hmm. And was she there when she fell asleep driving? That was her grandmother. Oh, that was her grandmother. Okay. But she told me that the other car was involved and was totaled. What did it hit? We put something there. Okay. It was like a spiritual barrier? Yes. That's pretty strong. The total car. Yes. Mm -hmm. Was that car supposed to hit her? It was going to. Mm-hmm. Okay. So she was saved by her grandmother? Yes. Very good. Very good. Is there anything that her grandmother would like to tell her today? Yes. Mm -hmm. Can we speak with Mamang today? Yes. Mm -hmm. Good evening, Magdalena. Hello. 
What would you like to tell your granddaughter today? Who loves you so much? I'm always with her. And I'm always loving her. She's never alone. She's always connected to me. Mm -hmm. Do you talk to her? Yes. Mm -hmm. Does she hear you? Yes. Mm -hmm. What would you like to tell her today that she'll be able to hear and cherish? I love her so much. And everything's going to be okay. Very good. Lynn, what would you like to tell your grandmother? I know she's with me all the time. And although I miss her physically, I let her go. Mm-hmm. And I know she's always with me. And I love her. And that... I'm sorry for all the times that I did hurt her. When she was alive. And I was... Angry. Magdalena, what would you like to tell her back about that? She could never hurt me. Because I loved her so much. You knew who she really was, didn't you? Yes. Mm -hmm. She was just being a little bratty. She has so much love in her. Mm -hmm. You saw her for who she was. She's so powerful. Mm -hmm. Such a bright light. She's always been powerful and independent and free. Yes. Mm hmm Did she come here to be a light for others? Yes, mm -hmm. but she's been afraid to let it shine. Mm -hmm. Tell her now about that. can't dim your light because it's not dimmable. And if it makes people uncomfortable, that's not it's not for you to own. You're just reflecting back to them what they need to work on. You need to shine again. Would you help her with that? Yes. Would you fill her with that love that she needs from you today? Yes. Give her that sensation of being with her. Mm -hmm. Fill her with love that only a grandmother can give. Mm -hmm. 
And while you fill her with love, I'd like to thank you for being here today. And I'd like now to speak with her higher self again. Thank you very much, Magdalena, for, for your assistance. As her higher self, would you tell her if Araceli is her soulmate or part of her soul group? Araceli is her soulmate. Mm -hmm. They seem to have lived in other lives before. Yes. Mm -hmm. She says she's been having difficult relationships with her recently. How can she heal that? She wants to be able to listen better. And then needs to learn to let go. Mm -hmm. Surrender. Is she being stubborn? She thinks she can fix everything and everyone. Mm -hmm. That it's her duty. Mm -hmm. Well, we burned up that Moses scroll today. Yes. Mm -hmm. How can she help her relationship? To go back to her loving, her unconditional loving. Just give Araceli the love that she needs mm -hmm. without trying to fix anything. Okay. Unconditional love. Just be the light in her life. Yes. Very good. And what about her business? Is this the what she should be doing? She's really good at it. Mm-hmm. Is this how she serves her higher purpose, or is there some other way that she can do that? Yes, she's serving it, and there's more for her to do. Mm -hmm. Can you give her a hint? She can start helping her staff. Mm -hmm. Open up to their higher purpose mm -hmm. and the reason why they're working there. Okay. Make them really understand what they're there to do? Yes. Okay, very good. Do you have anything else to tell her about her career? She needs to just follow her heart mm -hmm. and do what she knows to do mm -hmm. without fear or worrying about how she's going to find more people to work for her mm -hmm. that's been holding her back. Or letting other people hold her back mm -hmm. because of their fears. Mm -hmm. She's guided. She needs to just follow and do what she's always been doing. Well, she seems to have been helping her sister with a lot of money issues. How can we release that today? That seems to have been holding her down too, weighing in on her. Well, it's okay for her to give. Mm -hmm. 
but not expect them to live their life to her expectations. Okay. So let it go. To let it go. If she has if she has the resources to help and she wants to help, that's okay, but don't expect them to live their life the way she would. Mm -hmm. Every, and, everybody's on a different journey? Yes. Mm -hmm. And if she wants to say no, she can say no and it's okay. Okay, good. Very good. Would you, would you do a body scan on Lynn? We want to check her health today. How does she look? She's pretty healthy. Mm -hmm. She says that she has some discomfort in her neck and shoulder and knees. What's causing that? Oh, that was just the burdens mm -hmm. that she put on herself. Okay. Can we release that today? Yes. All right. So tell Lynn what you're using so that she knows and can visualize it. Visualize. to bear. Just put it down and push it off the cliff. Let me know if she does that. <laughs> so she has no more burdens on her. Mm -hmm. You can ask the archangels to work on any tendons or any muscles that have been injured by all of that burden. Paying particular attention to her shoulders, her neck, and her knees. Yes. Thank you. She wants to be able to play tennis again. Would that be okay? Yes, she needs to. Mm -hmm. What should she be doing for that optimal health? She needs to eat better. Mm -hmm. Well, she needs to eat, first of all. She's not eating? No, she's always... Food was never a priority. Mm -hmm. She she used to say she wished she was a robot so she would never have to eat or sleep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she, she can release that now. Okay. So can you fill her with that wonderful feeling of being able to eat and enjoy it? And when she puts her head on the pillow Sleep soundly. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
Very good. Would you check her aura and see if there's any leaks in her aura today? Yes. Mm -hmm. Where is that? Her upper body. Mm -hmm. What's going on with that upper body? Too many people draining her. Mm -hmm. A lot of vampires? Yes. Mm -hmm. Have any of those taken advantage of her? Do we have any influences in her body now? Yes. Mm -hmm. Where is that? Her stomach. In her stomach. All right. I'm going to take my hand and bring that that energy up. Allow it to come up, 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 up. You can go ahead and express yourself now. Good evening. Are you male or female energy? Male. Male. Mm -hmm. How long have you been in there in that stomach? For a while. Mm -hmm. How long is a while? Mm. Several years. Mm -hmm. And how is it that you found Lynn? What was going on with her? She was tired. She was tired. Did that give you the permission to come in and reside in her stomach? Well, she was tired of living. Mm-hmm. I came to keep her going. Okay. What well, may I call you? What's your name? Dan. Dan? How old are you, Dan? About 45. 45. And how did you lose your body? I wasn't taking care of it. You weren't taking care of it. So you were not eating healthy or being healthy? No, I was... I was homeless. Oh, you were homeless. Hmm. So did someone kill you? on the street. You just died on the street. And then you decided to take advantage of Lynn when she wasn't feeling good? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you know Lynn from another life? Yes. Who was she? She was my wife. She was your wife? Mm-hmm. When was this? In the 1800s. Mm-hmm. And why did you follow her? Have you been following her into this life? Yeah. Mm-hmm. For what purpose? Keep her going. To keep her going. What happened in your lifetime in the 1800s that you felt the need to keep her going? 
what happened to her there. She left me. She left you. So you decided to follow her. Yeah. Mm. Dan, you really didn't follow her to keep her going, did you? What was the real reason? Wanted to use her. You wanted to use her. Mm hmm. What have you been causing her? Keeping her from doing what she needs to be doing. Mm hmm. Why is that? Too many people. Mm hmm. And you don't like that? No. Why is that? Because I want people to suffer like me. Mm. Dan, I think it's time that you stop suffering. I think that you deserve to feel loved. You've been hurt before. Yeah. And it seems that you go from lifetime to lifetime and keep suffering. Isn't it time to end this madness of suffering? Yeah. Would you be willing to allow me to help you today to release all of that suffering so that you can go back home to the divine light? Okay. All right. I'm going to put my hand on your chest, Dan. And I want you to release all of that suffering, all of that pain of being abandoned, of not being loved, of being ignored, feeling that you don't have family, you don't have a place to live. Your wife left you. Give me all of that suffering. And allow me to send it to the universe for healing. Give it all to me. And tell me when I have it all. All right, I'm going to release that and send it up to the light. Now, Dan, in that space that's left here, what would you like to fill that with? Love. Let's put lots of love in there. Feel it coming in. Lots of love. Feel it filling up all of your essence, Dan. And I'm going to touch your forehead and just seal that in there. What else would you like to put in there? Joy. Mm -hmm. Let's put lots of joy. Very good. What else? Playfulness. Mm -hmm. Lots of playfulness. Very good. Very good. Do you feel complete now? Or is there anything else you would like to put in there? Okay. Okay. So, Dan, I want you to go into that area of her stomach where you've been residing, and I want you to pull out all of your influence from there. And, Lynn, I'd like for you to look inside the stomach and see how it is that he's attached to you. And tell me what it looks like from inside. What has been he been using to attach to you? How does it look? Mm-hmm. Functioning optimally. Mm-hmm. All right. My digestive system. 
So I want you to cut all of his influence. I want you to imagine everywhere where he's anchored himself to in your stomach. I want you to pull it out from the roots. All of those connections that he has, all of those cables, all of those lines where he's connected himself like a root of a tree. Pull it all out. And Dan, I want you to pull all of that out yourself. Take it with you. And I'm going to ask my angels of the light to surround you now, Dan. Feel their love around you. Feel their light. And Archangel Michael, I'd like for you to take Dan by the hand. And Dan, I'd like you to, for, to go up here through her head. And as you do, I want you to forgive yourself, Dan, for all of the hurt that you've caused her. And as you go, Lynn, what would you like to tell Dan? Mm -hmm. She doesn't need you, Dan. I want to send you into the light with love. Pull all of that essence out with you. And Archangel Michael, please take him into the light. Dan, may the light of the universe accompany you always. Thank you for being here today and communicating with me. And now I'd like for the Archangels, Raphael, and Gabriel, the ones that work with me as a team, to seal that area of her stomach. Fill it with light. Fill it with love. Heal that area that's been giving her so many issues. I want you to use that light on her digestive system so that it will work to optimal. Fill it up with that love and that light. Is there anything else that I could have asked that I didn't ask today for Lynn? Mm -hmm. Are we complete today? Yes. Very good. Hi. How do you feel? Oh, good. What an experience. Do you remember anything? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you think you were hypnotized? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> so how long do you feel you're on this journey? Mm. Thirty minutes, forty-five minutes? Mm. Try like an hour and forty-five minutes. Oh, wow. Yeah. It was a long journey. What was the most significant part of it? What do you remember the most? Um, how certain people in my past lives or in my life and have been in my current life mm -hmm. again. Mm -hmm. And... Um, Their, their purpose. Yeah, you were holding a lot of guilt there from those lives. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Which is probably why you rolled, you wrote that Moses contract. Mm-hmm. Because you wanted to take care of everybody. Right. And then your higher self says you can't worry about what anybody thinks. Yes. And you just have to start eating mm -hmm. and exercising. Right. <laughs> Especially if you're going to be playing tennis, you're going to have have to have some energy. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. What else did you get from it? Um, that I have to stop holding back and let my light shine. Mm -hmm. And if, because I'm, you know, if I'm so passionate and alive about things, mm -hmm. that's okay. It's, you got to do it. That's who I am. Mm -hmm. And you need to have that resonate in all parts of your life, not just your business and your entrepreneur ideas. Yeah, it has to be every part of you. Right. No yes. matter who it is that you're around. Right, yes. So good, huh? Mm -hmm. Do you, was it worth it? 
Yes. Yes, I, I realize. I mean, I realize how those experiences in the past life have been affecting me. Mm -hmm. Loud and clear. Yes. The one about your daughter being taken was a real big one. Mm -hmm. Right. That was very painful. Yeah, and it was um, like when when I met Erseli, mm -hmm. what really um, drew me to her was when she had shared with me that she was molested. Mm -hmm. And I was just totally drawn and, and I wanted to take her pain away. Mm -hmm. So. Well, now you know why. Yeah. Because it was almost like the same scene. Mm hmm. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. In that Irish life. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> you know, because like you said, uh, we were talking about earlier, sometimes you think, like, okay, am I making this up? And then um, actually, when you first asked for a name, my, you know, the conscious mind was like, at first I said Claire, like, which is my mother's name. But then. I'm like, no, and then, so when I just allowed it, then mm -hmm. Megan came up, and then when you ask what country, you know, well, Ireland, mm -hmm. and Megan, you know, of is course. like an Irish name, right. right? So that's how I know I'm not making it up. <laughs> <laughs> so it's good. Yeah. Do, you, do you feel that you would want to share this with others? Um, yes. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. this is a really intense. It was pretty intense. Mm-hmm. I thought it was beautiful, though, you know, how you talk to your grandmother and, mm -hmm. yes. and your sister, connected yes. with them. Yes. And yes. those lies were definitely uh, affecting you. Mm -hmm. So we've helped those two women mm -hmm. today and helped you. Okay. Yes. So here we are in Miami, Florida. We just had a beautiful session. Yes. So it was good. It was, it was amazing. Mm -hmm. And you're still holding the selenite. Yes. <laughs> It worked. It worked, I guess. You didn't think you were going to be hypnotized. No. <laughs> <laughs> Your accountant mind. No. Yes, that too. But, mm -hmm. you know, when um, when you asked me, oh, who am I? Mm -hmm. I just felt this expansiveness. Beautiful. And just feeling... Like one with the universe. Ah, that was a feeling. That's like, nice. Right, just expansion. Beautiful, mm -hmm. beautiful. So you recommend this to other people? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yes. And how far did you travel to be here? <laughs> All the way from San Francisco. <laughs> <laughs> one yes. day I have to go there. <laughs> yes, yes. We're gonna get you over there with <laughs> four other people we already know are interested. Excellent, yes. excellent. So if you want to have a session here, uh, like Lynn just had, you look me up on albawyman.com and same as she did, just sign up and we'll have a session with you. Yes. So thank you for, very much for watching and until the next time. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank ah. you. Thank you so much. That's good. So Thanks. I'm going to give you another stone now to hold to ground you. Mm -hmm.